There's only one thing worse than getting up on a cold morning and going riding. And that's not getting up on a cold morning. And not going riding. <laughs> What's that? Who are they, I wonder? Let's go and say hello. Stay on. Hi. I'm Raphael. Hi. I'm Lisa. And this is Stevie and Carol. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you for what you did just now. Uh, Diablo needed a good gallop. And he likes to make new friends. <laughs> He's sure good at it. Actually, I, I wonder if you guys can do me a favor. Sure. Just ask. ask. I'm looking for work. What do you do? Well, um, I'm good with horses. Are there any stables around here? been through this way once before. Are they carnival folk? Yeah, they follow the county fairs and rodeos. Steer way clear of people like that. People like what? They're all crooks. That's what my father says. You were lucky to get away without losing anything. There's a lot of rubbish talked about fairground people. It's just stupid rumours. I can't believe anybody with a smile like Raphael's could be a crook. What? Most of them are just thieves. They grab anything that's not nailed down. Exactly. Guys, you really know how to take the shine off things. Word of advice, have nothing to do with them. That's going to be hard, because here he comes now. Watch your wallets, everyone. Hi again. Uh, which way to the uh, office? It's up the stairs, Raphael. Come on, I'll show you. Wish me luck. What a gorgeous. Of course. Hey, haven't you got her out of stealing a saddle yet? I can mend most things. Leather tack is my specialty and I can do a bit of shoeing. And what's your hourly rate, Raphael? I'll tell you what, Drew. I'll work the first day for nothing and then you can tell me how much you think I'm worth. And what if I don't like your work? Hasn't happened yet. Deal. Where are you camped, Raphael? Uh, there's a, a cattle track, two valleys over, at the end of that. Oh, that's Carolyn's land. You did ask his permission. Uh, not yet. It's just that he's not very friendly. In fact, he's downright unfriendly. Yeah, I always thought he was a bit crazy when I was a kid. Well, then it looks like I won't be asking then. <sighs> what are you doing? Leave it alone, Neville. Neville, don't touch that's it. That's too hot. Put it back down, Neville.
Well, who's going to go first? I wanted to do some more at the old height. We're just training, Whoa. Neville. Don't be weak. Nobody's being weak. We all want it lower. You better give me some competition at this jump off. Just to make it interesting. You're so full of yourself, Neville Cowlin. If the Saddle Club are too scared to do it, please stand aside. I wish Neville had stayed at his old pony club. Everybody takes a while to fit in when they're new. Will he ever fit in? I'm not holding my breath. You've done this before? Yeah, a few times. Plenty more of those to keep you busy. Hey, Raphael. Oh, hi, everyone. <laughs> Got your heart at it. Yeah, it's good to be busy. Give it a rest. Thought carnival people didn't like work. Never try pitching 20 tents in one night with all weathers? So how come you're afraid of holding down a regular job? Cut it out, Neville. Don't take Neville too seriously. I work pretty regular. Last six months as a wrangler and play guitar or dances for pocket money. Acoustic or electric? Both. And bass too. You're all talk. But you can't even play. And I've earned some money rodeo riding. Wow. Is there anything you're not good at? Putting up with fools. an idea. Good. There's so many things happening at Pine Hollow, it's hard to keep track. So we're thinking of starting a little new sheet. Well, that's a wonderful idea. Well, I thought of it. We thought of it together, Melanie. There's no I in team. <laughs> well, what are you going to call it? That's what we were going to ask you about, you being a journalist. Deborah, did Max ever have trouble following the accountant's book work or...? The accountant? He was always on the golf course. Better ring the bank manager. Get it straight from the horse's mouth. That's a great title. Thanks, Drew. Very clever. Sorry? Straight from the horse's mouth. Brilliant. Let's go, Melanie. Is this something I said, or...? It's straight from the horse's mouth. Very clever. Why does everybody keep saying hello? Yes. Um, what I wanted to find out was the... Why do you think it's us? You happen to be on my land the day my prize mare goes missing, that's why. Please, stop shouting. Don't tell me what to do, Sonny, I want answers. Look, we've never even seen your horse. Hey, you're way out of line, you hear me? Mr. Cowlin, Raphael has been with us all day. What are you saying he's done? I want you off my land or I'll get the law to run you out of the county. People like you don't belong around here. Lots of information. The upcoming jump off at Pine Hollow. Next month's regional champs. What do you think, Melanie? I like that article and that article. The two you wrote. And they're great. Except for all the semicolons. What's a semicolon? It's a comma with a dot above it. Ah, uh, that. Well, whenever I don't know whether to finish off a sentence or not, I just add in one of them. What do you think, Deborah? I glanced at it before. It's good as a bulletin, but maybe it needs something more than just information. Maybe it needs something about what's going on here socially. Like a gossip column? I was thinking more human interest. Gossip is what people are really interested in. Like what other people are trying to keep secret. Yeah. Well, have you got enough to put in it? Sure. Romance, secret rivalries, feuds. Romance? Really? You'd be surprised. Surprise me. Well, I heard that Megan James was going out with this guy, Reese Malloy. No, no. 
She so has the hots for that guy, Tim Morris, from choir. Put that in as well. Shouldn't you just check before you put this into print? I know. We'll write Megan James as Megan J and Reese Malloy as Reese M. Oh, and Tim Morris as Tim M. Mm -hmm. No one will ever guess. So we can camp at Pine Hollow. Drew is an all round nice guy. Drew and Deborah are expecting you. Do you want to head on over? Mm, sure. Where's Diablo? Ah, I turned him out to roam free. But aren't you afraid he's going to get lost? He knows this country between here and Sweetwater. It's here I found him running free. Running free? Yeah, that's the way he likes it. <laughs> but how do you find him again? I always know where he is. How? I listen to him. You better go and get him now, my son, before the law arrives. I'd love to own a horse like Diablo. Nobody owns Diablo. A horse with spirit owns himself. Wonder what they're up to. Let's find out, shall we? Well, well, Diablo. With another horse. Isn't that Lady Louise? <clears throat> Looks like her. Did you know she was here, Raphael? Of course not. Oh, no. Here comes trouble. I knew you were a horse thief. Busted. <laughs> I didn't bring Lady Louise here. You've just been caught red-handed. Mr. Callan, you know Lady Louise has run up before. She was probably lonely and followed Diablo. Come to think of it, what are you three doing here? Exactly. Why would Raphael lead us to where he's hidden the stolen horse? Unless you're in on it as well. Now listen to me, the four of you. I'm going to make trouble for this horse thief and his little helpers. <sighs> You should be ashamed of yourself. You're harboring horse thieves on your property. Whoa, whoa there, no. Now, I've heard what happened, and I don't see how it amounts to thieving. Lady Louise jumped a fence and piled up with another horse. It's just not that serious. Oh, really? Well, I'll tell you what is serious. Three of your girls were his accomplices. Oh, come on. Come on what? That is serious. Look, Drew, these people are vagabonds, and you've been conned by them. Thanks for your concern, Bob. But I can handle myself. This would never have happened if Max were here. That's nice. What's it called? Um, oh, it hasn't got a name yet. Are you making it up now? Yeah. Where did you learn to play so well? My dad was good. He taught me for a couple of years. But he's not around anymore? No, he didn't like travelling all over. He wanted to settle down, so he ran away from the circus. <laughs> Have you ever thought of settling down? Uh, yeah, but you get used to the way things are. And Mum, she likes the life, so uh, she's too old to change. Aren't you worried about your education? Uh, I get by on my correspondence lessons. It's a tough world out there. That's why I'm working hard at school. Yeah, but you don't need to be a genius to mend tack. <laughs> you could do much bigger things than that, Raphael. If you gave yourself a chance. Do you think that? I haven't known you for long. But I can tell. You're special. Sorry. Didn't realise I was interrupting anything. I thought the Saddle Club were meant to look out for each other. What's on your mind, Veronica? Oh, 
Nothing. Oh, we all know there is. I just don't like seeing Lisa make a fool of herself with an older man. And this would be Raphael. Poor Lisa is so naive and inexperienced. It's very nice of you to be so concerned all of a sudden. I'm just afraid she won't be able to handle it and wind up getting very hurt. I really think you should have a word with her. And you think someone more sophisticated could handle Raphael? Of course. Someone like you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you are so not mature. Hi, Diablo. Do you want to come for a ride with Lady Louise? I thought you and Lady Louise were friends. Come on, Diablo. isn't it? It's wonderful to be alive. <laughs> uh, do you tell fortunes only at fairs or any time? Why don't you come inside and we'll see what's in the crystal for you? <laughs> it concerns an affair of the heart, doesn't it? Uh, no. <laughs> you forget. I can see things. <laughs> oh, well, uh, maybe. <laughs> Raphael. Hi there. You're a very good rider. I was wondering, do you give private lessons? Riding lessons? Yeah, I'd pay you, of course. Nobody's asked me that before. I just feel I've learned all I can at Pine Hollow. Yeah, sure, but I can't do it straight away. That's OK. Hi there. Hi. Your mother is a very good fortune teller. Really? I mean, yeah, I know. She looked into my future and she got almost everything right. Oh, the future is like an open book to her. It concerns you too. Me? She said we would become romantically linked. Mum said that? Well, she said a tall, dark stranger would come into my life now. But maybe there's another tall, dark stranger. <laughs> like who? Like Neville. <laughs> Um, he's not a stranger. He's just strange. I don't know, Veronica. I just get the feeling that we're just too different. But you could change. Into what? From a stranger to a friend. It's the same as show jumping. Why do we have different age groups? Because competitors are of different levels of experience and maturity. Same with boyfriends. Lisa's a nice kid, but she's just too young for somebody like Raphael. And you're not. Raphael and I have had a little talk. On the surface of it, you wouldn't think we'd get on. But we've discussed things and reached an understanding. <laughs> I think you're being a bit hasty, Veronica. Meaning what? Well, I've had a long talk to Raphael, and I'd say I've reached an understanding. What about? He's very impressed with my writing and has offered to give me private lessons. Oh, I see. Just writing lessons. I'm talking about something more personal. Like what? I'm sorry, it's personal. Tell me! Christy, calm down. I'm sorry you had your heart set on Raphael, but it's just not meant to be. We'll see about that. Diablo! Diablo! 
Are you okay, Raphael? Diablo's gone missing. How? I don't know. I can usually find him anywhere, like I told you, but I'm afraid he must be hurt, or... Or what? Or maybe he was taken away by somebody. And... I wondered why he was looking so pleased with himself. Who? Where's Diablo? Who? Diablo, Raphael's horse. Where is he? Suppose he just drifted off, like you drift a boyfriend. If you hurt him. Yeah, you're what? So you have got him. <sighs> nice try. But you don't know anything and you can't prove anything. So just get lost. But Diablo's smart and strong. Neville couldn't just drag him off. No, not against his will. But Neville's cunning. Maybe he used Lady Louise as a lure. Yeah, I'd believe that. <laughs> How come you're only smart sometimes? Hey. So Neville's hidden Diablo somewhere. At their place. It makes sense. I'm going looking for him. Not by yourself, you're not. I can't ask. You're not asking. We're volunteering. Well, I am. And me. Try and stop me. But we've got to be careful. This could be dangerous. It's scary. Head straight back here and take off back to Pine Hollow. The farmhouse is just over the hill, so be careful. Let's creep down and see if we can spot Diablo. My sister came here to pick apples once. Callum set the dogs on her. <sighs> Thanks, Phil. Just what we all needed to make us feel better. Let's go. 